Hello, I'm Dan Ralston. This is my wife, Karen. We're the owners of Ralston Acres Christmas Tree Farm. We are located at 2575 Georgia Highway 95 in Rock Spring. Our telephone number is 706-764-6111. We are a choose and cut Christmas tree farm, family owned, family operated, and we would certainly like for your family to come by and see us this Christmas season. We have very nice employees, friendly employees. We've got a lot of things to do here on the farm. We have varieties of trees to pick from, and we certainly would like for you to become a part of our Christmas memory here this year. One of the things that we try to do here at Ralston Acres is to promote a family atmosphere. We certainly want you to be able to come here with your family and make sure that you create the Christmas memory that you want to have for you and your loved ones. We try our best to make sure that that happens through hay rides. We have hot apple cider. We have hot chocolate once in a while if the inventory allows. We have a fire ring. We welcome moms, dads, children, we even have a few dogs that come by once in a while. Just as long as they're on a leash, we're fine with that. Again, we're on Facebook, uh, but again, our telephone number is 706-764-6111 if you get lost. But we're at 2575 Georgia Highway 95 in Rock Spring. Let me take just a few minutes to show you around our Christmas tree farm. Folks, I'm really excited about this area of our tree farm. This is what we call Lot 1. Uh, we have several varieties of trees here to choose from. Uh, the one that's standing directly on my left here is a Murray Cypress. Uh, this is a cousin to the Leland Cypress. The untrained eye really can't tell a lot of difference, but as you can see, it's got a real deep green color. We don't put any color in on any of our trees. Um, uh, we feel like that natural is better. Uh, these Murray Cypress uh, are very um, uh, green and they have a strong limb structure. Uh, that's good if you have heavy ornaments that you'd like to put on or, or string several strings of lights. And we have several sizes here. They range from five feet all the way up to about eight feet. Uh, so we've got plenty of the, the Murray Cypress. We have another variety that's just on my left over here. Uh, that's the Carolina Sapphire. Uh, that is a uh, named for uh, a university in South Carolina that uh, developed these trees. And they are uh, very fragrant trees. Uh, these don't have, the Murrays don't have the fragrance that the Carolinas do. Uh, some folks like to have that Christmassy mini type smell in their home and we have several of those here to choose from. The, the sizes of those again run from somewhere around uh, four and a half feet up to about seven feet. And we have uh, other varieties on other parts of our farm that's a blue ice that is I call my Smurf tree. Uh, basically, it's qu not quite ready to sell yet, but it's getting there if you want a tabletop tree. It is blue, uh, hence the name Blue Ice. Uh, and it looks a lot uh, like the uh, sapphires, except it has a predominantly bluer color than the sapphires do. I have one other uh, variety of tree on our farm, and that's the Fraser fir. The Fraser fir is the Cadillac, we call it, of the Christmas tree industry. Uh, the bad thing about a Fraser fir is it doesn't grow naturally around this area of Northwest Georgia. Uh, you have to go up in the mountains of North Carolina or at least above 3,000 feet for the Fraser fir to grow into the size of a Christmas tree uh, in a natural setting. Uh, there is uh, some bacteria that gets on the roots and we won't go into that, but uh, we do have them pre-cut and selected from a farm in North Carolina. We bring them in by truck. Our Fraser firs will be in a pre-cut lot up next to the sales barn up here and uh, we do have several uh, strands of lights so uh, even if you want to come by and it's already dark we still have uh, lighting to where you can uh, choose uh, your Fraser fir. You can't get any fresher than what we have here at Ralston Acres. Uh, you come, you cut your tree, we give you tips on how to keep your tree fresh. Uh, you know a lot of people come to us and ask us well you know I would like a real tree but I just don't know about 
it staying fresh the whole time that we're going to have it displayed in our home. Well, we don't have any trouble with that. As long as you follow the directions, keep them in water. We'll give you tips on how to keep them fresh. We've had customers that will tell us that this tree right here, the Murray Cypress or the Carolina Sapphire uh, or the Fraser Fir for that matter, uh, have lasted well on past New Year's Day. Uh, if you follow the directions. So uh, this, again, I'm very excited about our crop of trees this year. Uh, come out and see them, because I think you'll find that uh, we have one of the best uh, uh, Christmas tree selections in Northwest Georgia. We've just stepped over the hill here. So I wanted to show you one of my favorite uh, trees that we grow here at Ralston Acres. This is the blue ice that I was referring to a few minutes ago. Uh, it is what I call my Smurf tree. Uh, if you can see here, the limbs and are good and sturdy for ornaments, uh, but it is, I don't know if you can see this on the camera real well, but it is blue. And uh, you know, we just really like this and we've had a lot of customers uh, make good comments about our blue ice trees. And speaking of trees, you know, as you look back through our farm here, uh, we could take a power saw and come out here and cut these trees down and take them up to our sales barn and, and, and sell them that way. But that's not what we're here for. We want to sell the family experience. We want you to come out with your family. We supply you with a saw or we can cut it for you uh, ourselves. But we go with you, you pick the tree out. Uh, it's a family event. And that's really what we want to see here at, at our farm. Uh, we have had families come back year after year and they've commented on how much they enjoyed getting out in the country and, and going out and selecting a tree like many of us did when we were growing up. The problem with that is when we were growing up, we probably went to a, an old pasture somewhere and maybe cut it or off of a fence row. Here we have trees, some manicured, some not manicured as much, but you can just have the run of the farm and take a look and see what you want to, to cut and you can make a Christmas memory. By the way, before I forget, bring your camera. Uh, we certainly want you to take time to take pictures and feel free to, to uh, on the hay ride or on the when you're cutting the tree, uh, take some time to uh, have some family portraits. If you'd like, one of our employees would be happy to help you with that. But uh, I did want you to see the blue ice and say a little bit more about the family experience because that is what sets us apart. Let me tell you a little bit about the stands that we have to offer here at Boston Acres. Uh, these are Senko Express stands here. I wanted to point out one thing about all the stands that we have to offer, and that is they have a deep well for water. Uh, we have um, every stand here holds uh, at least a gallon of water, and that is extremely important to keep uh, your tree in water for freshness throughout the Christmas season. We have different sizes. We got your large, your medium, and your small. We have some uh, other stands that are unique in that they have a fill uh, here part of the stand that you can put water in. It's a little bit more convenient. We also have the spike stands here. The spike stands uh, are a favorite of mine. We drill those trees with a spike up through the center of the tree and it allows us to straighten that tree up here before you ever leave the farm. And it does have the capability of holding at least a gallon of water. So I just wanted to show you the stands real quick because we do have them to offer and uh, that will go a long way in helping keeping your tree fresh this Christmas season. We've moved again on the other side of the hill, up not too far from the sales barn, but I wanted to show you just a little bit, a little more about the trees. And as you see in the background back there beside the barn, we've got the hay ride, uh, the tractor and the wagon. Uh, that is always a popular event on our tree farm. Uh, every Saturday, weather permitting, we have hay rides 
um, throughout the day. Uh, matter of fact, we've been even known to have a hay ride uh, a little bit after dark. We don't like to do it too much after dark, but if everybody's having fun and everybody uh, is in agreement, uh, we will have a hay ride whenever you want it. But uh, that is the hay ride wagon. It can accommodate up to about uh, 25 people on it. Uh, we've had uh, school tours come by, and I would uh, welcome school tours as long as they are uh, called in advance uh, and let us know that they're coming. Uh, we've had as many as 120 kids here at one time, and every one of them got a free hay ride. We don't charge for a hay ride, as I said. We don't charge for a hot apple cider. That's just part of the family experience we wanted to promote here at Ralston Acres. Uh, we want to let you have a good time here. We don't want you to worry about the money. Uh, we do want you to buy a tree from us if you can. But the main thing you're here for is the experience of going out on the farm, enjoying yourself, finding a tree, and making Christmas memories. That's what it's all about. One other thing that come to mind a few minutes ago is 25 years from now, when you're, maybe your children are already grown, maybe they have children of their own, are they going to remember going to a box store or going to some other store and purchasing a tree from a, a corner somewhere that's already cut? Or are they going to remember coming out to the country, getting on a hayride, roasting marshmallows by a fire, drinking hot apple cider, uh, cutting their own fresh Christmas tree? Are they going to remember that? I believe they will. So that's one of the things that we want to promote here at Ralston Acres. We want the memories. We want you to have the memories, uh, good memories. We want you to be able to tell your, your children and their children's children about what good times you had coming to Ralston Acres. Because we want you to be, uh, uh, it, to enjoy yourself. We want you to have fun. And uh, while you're here, yeah, buy a fresh wreath, buy a tree, and uh, make some Christmas memories. One other thing that people ask me about is, Dan, how did you get the farm to, to have the fragrance that it does? Well, I'll let the good Lord do that. Uh, we have a couple of varieties of trees here that really put out a very distinct Christmas odor. Uh, shouldn't say odor, should say fragrance, shouldn't I? But uh, it is uh, very, very distinct. And when people come to the farm uh, and they step out into our tree lot here, uh, it smells like Christmas. So uh, that's, that's part of the atmosphere of coming out to a Christmas tree farm. I'm Dan Ralston and this is my wife Karen. We're the owners of Ralston Acres Christmas Tree Farm. We want to thank you for taking the time to spend this evening with us and we certainly want to invite you to Ralston Acres Christmas Tree Farm at 2575 Highway 95 in Rock Spring. Come out, make a few Christmas memories, find your tree, enjoy the hay ride, the hot apple cider, the food and the fellowship. Come see us, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas.